and today we have a beautiful BMW for everyone. But before we get to this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, click the bell to turn the notifications on, and don't forget to check out our website, autohousenaples.com, for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful BMW. All right, so what we have today is a 2019 BMW M4 convertible. This one is in amazing condition and I really, really love the color of this one. It's finished in the Yas Marina Blue exterior and I really like this color. It just stands out. It's just a different blue that you don't really see on a lot of cars. Um, it's really pretty though. It's like, it's got the metallic look and I don't know, it's really unique. I don't even know how to describe it, like what I would even compare it to. It's just such a pretty color. Um, up front, the kidney grill, you're going to have this glossy black trim that's added to the kidney grill. And of course, you have your M4 badging on there as well. Really great condition. And the front bumper, everything's in really great shape. You do have the front and rear parking sensors, which make, you know, parking this really easy. Um, they do have the, there's the rear view camera as well, but you do have the sensors, which are nice too, just to kind of gauge how close or far away you are from something. The headlights in this are in really, really great condition. No, uh, fogging or anything like that. And I do love the front, these grills on this one, because this is the first generation of the M4 before, you know, 20, now in 21, you're going to get the waterfall grill, that big, large, new grill, but I really like this. I think this is one of my favorites. It's pretty classic and standard. The other one, I don't know, looks like, sounds like mouth is open or something weird, but I really like this one. It looks really simple. You do have upgraded wheels on here as well. These are the 20 inch M Star spoke forged black wheels. Really great shape. I like the design on these ones. I think it's really neat. You got your BMW emblem on there, your M Sport badging. These tires are 265 30R20s. So you got 20 inch wheels. And I do love the, uh, uh, what is it, the, the air valve cap down there. It has a little M badging on there. I think that's really unique. Well, not super unique, but I think it's really cool. You have your brake calipers as well, your M Sport brake calipers in blue, a nice added touch. I think they look kind of nice hidden back there because it complements the lighter blue as well. Side air intake vents, you have your M badging again up there. A very simple look. I love these black wheels on the car too, just with the blue. It's just a good color combo, the black and blue. Now with the top down, you get a little sneak peek of the interior. It does have the opal white interior on the seats. So it, I don't know. I just, this is one of the best color combos I've ever seen in on one of these. I really, really like it. Surprisingly, I don't really like colored cars, but I love this one. Um, the seats are in really great condition. The leather's in super great shape. They're very comfortable. You got your sport seats, carbon fiber, everything like that. The design on this one is really top notch it's in super great shape one thing to note too are the seat belts so on the seat belts you have the m sport stripes on them they look really neat when you're buckled up super cool i like that as well you just, you don't see that most you know seat belts if they're if anything they're just a different color but you don't really see a design on seat belts and i think I think more people should start doing that. I think it's a really fun little touch and, you know, not that much added cost by any means, but it's just a little special thing that <laughs> looks so much cooler. Back, same thing. We have those 20 inch black wheels. The tires on here are going to be 285 30ZR20s. And again, you've got all your little M Sport badging on the cap, your brake calipers, and again on the wheel. 
the uh, so the BMW announced in 2016 the M4 competition package which this car does have it's going to give you an upgraded horsepower you're going to have 444 horsepower instead of 424 revised suspension for better handling you're going to get the new lightweight sport seats and then that m stripe woven seat belt also the m sport exhaust which we have back here it's got black chrome tailpipes tail can't talk tailpipes and then also the gloss black trim that you saw in the kidney grill the side grills and everything like that. Back here we have the sensors as well. I just love this color, it's just so unique. The rear tail lights, really great shape as well too. Um, I like the design of these ones, they're very sleek. It's a super sporty car. I like that this one's a convertible too, it's super fast so you can be on the freeway blowing by everyone in your convertible. <laughs> same wheels but overall in really great shape i like the the body of the car it's got good lines on it let's pop the hood so we can take a peek at the engine super neat it's very different um, you've got your M badging on here as well M power I love that they put that um, on the cover as well so this engine is going to be a three liter twin turbo inline six like I said 444 horsepower because we have that added competition package the seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission and this one's going to be zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds really nice and it's super clean underneath the hood there very well maintained car taken care of um it's just in really great shape overall all right let's check out that interior oh. creating problems already can't even close the hood i was all excited there's no latch and i can't even close the hood right Perfect. All right, so you do have the rear seats in here as well. Rear seats are in really great shape, uh, good condition. You do have this kind of light white interior in here as well. You've got little cup holders right there if you want to use those. Not the like most spacious back seat, but it's pretty nice. It's nice that it's a convertible, so instead of the coupe since it's a convertible you put the top down you feel a little bit more spacious back here as well and i like that they have the seat belts in the rear as well so you get the special seat belts too not just the front all right so let's start it up real quick on the wheel as well I don't know if you can see it but inside there it's got a really nice stitching that's in really great shape you got your BMW badging right there you have a very simple instrument cluster this one just you know has the main things you need in the big instrument gauges you got your miles per hour you got your RPMs and then off to the side you've got your gas and your temperature over there. You've got a little graphic down here. It'll tell you if your door open, hood open, trunk, anything like that. This one does have 40,327 miles on it. Really great shape. Over here too, you're gonna have your Harman Kardon sound system, which is really nice. Get the radio going. And you've got this full infotainment center. I like the way it pops up. It's just very simple. It's not too large either in the way it's just a nice size you have all of your um radio right there let's see we also have satellite radio am fm cd everything like that you've got your map i really like the look of this map on here as well 
I think it's really neat. It shows you like your traffic and everything like that. So that's pretty nice. And then of course you have the navigation if you do want to use it to uh, get you somewhere. And then also your phone. You can hook up your phone, which is a really nice setting as well. You got your lock and lock, you got your CD player, and then we don't have the temperature on, but let me turn that on so you can see that. I like the, um, just everything's just really like sleek in here. It's very simple. You got all your temperature settings. You got your heated seats if you want to do that as well. Um, just very simple. You do have du dual temp in here, which is really nice. Max AC, I like that button too. Down here, we're going to have a little, um, oh, just a little space down there. And then you're gonna have your two cup holders, great condition in there as well. And then you've got your shift knob in here with your M Sport badging on it. A couple more buttons down here. And then of course to navigate your screen, very simple, easy to use. And then what is nice too is you do also have the, um, you can heat your neck if you wanna do that. We're not gonna do that today because it's really toasty out, but just like the air scarf and the Mercedes, you do have that option, which is really nice. And then of course your convertible top button is there as well. You've got your center console, which is pretty spacious, your USB cables, everything like that inside. So overall, that's really nice. And then over here, you do have your glove box as well. I like the design and space of it. It's just really simple. Door drops down, good space. Pretty spacious. And then of course you do also have this carbon fiber trim in here. I really like the touch of the carbon fiber. Um, it looks really nice and it kind of just complements this kind of black and white and blue kind of scheme that we have going on in here. It's just a nice added touch, another material in here. And then our um, sunshades and our lights, everything like that, rear view mirror. I do like that it has your cardinal directions on it as well. And then I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there is heads up display. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but there is heads up display and that's really nice. It'll show you not only the speed you're going, but the speed limit as well, which is really convenient for someone like me that doesn't like to follow the speed limit. So I need a reminder. Let's put the top up and then we can go for our test drive. convertible make sure and check it out on our website autohouseneaples.com and let us help you drive your dreams